Yes. On Wednesday, May the 8th. I just did a, I just did a big before uh, I started uh, sitting down, sitting down. Uh, of course, I was sitting down in the truck in between. Uh, I've, I've turned into one of the trash bitches. So I've been getting trashed the last couple days. Uh, there's still trash to get, surprisingly. But, you know, I, mean, I guess people are out enjoying enjoying the weather when they can. No. Not like this morning. It was a big, big ass storm this morning. Uh, luckily, well, a couple people told me, they're like, oh, it's going to start at 7. You know, there's a, there's a storm starting at 7, you know. I don't know. I was thinking about getting a ride home with Francesca, but I kept looking at my phone. I kept looking at my phone, and it never updated. It never changed. It, it which usually, I mean, it can change within five minutes. So, it didn't show any rain at seven, but it showed rain at uh, at uh, eight o'clock. So, Minxie's gonna throw up for you, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> But yeah, my phone never uh, showed ne rain at 8, not 7, so I thought, eh, I'll probably be fine. It doesn't look like it's going to start till maybe closer to 8. So it was about 7.30, and I was out there uh, coming around the bend in the parking lot here <laughs> when it really started, like, you know, and it, I mean, it started raining harder than that even after uh, I was, you know, inside, so... I just, I was, I was slightly moist, moist, but not drenched, so, it was all good, you know, and by the time I, uh, started walking to second work, uh, it, it, I mean, it was, it was raining, but it wasn't that bad, uh, you know, it was just dealing with all the runoff from when it had rained, you know, and I think it's maybe supposed to rain again this afternoon? Maybe here in about 20-ish minutes, or maybe not, doesn't show, no, doesn't show any rain anymore. It's going to be sunny at 7, oh boy, uh, unless it's not, we never know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, stretch, stretches, uh, well, yeah. so, we didn't have to go to the break room last night. Uh, <laughs> we were able to just continue to work, so, uh, but it was, it was quite a, quite a storm this morning. I kept watching, like, it get darker and darker, and I was like, as I was walking home, and I'm like, maybe I should have asked Francesca for a ride. I'm like, if you can just hold off for, like, ten minutes. I was like, if you can just hold off for, like, five minutes, <laughs> I'll be home. And I mean, I pretty, I pretty much made it before, uh, you know, it started pelting me a little bit harder by the time I got across the parking lot, so I was like, eh. I, it's, it's, I, st I still count it as a win. It's fine. Oh, but I've got me some different kind of noodles in there. I found it in the kosher section. Um, some kind of like spaghetti kind of noodles. Uh, but, so that's waiting for me after I'm done answering my question today on the 8th. Yes, because tomorrow's the 9th. Because it's Mary Lee's little birthday thingy. And I have tomorrow off from the city anyway. Uh, it hurts when... I get stabbed? I mean, I've never been stabbed, but I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience. I've never been shot. Um, it hurt when I did my pratfall at work going up to get my uh going up to get my uh safety award i'll try to remember to uh link link that below so that you can see my my purple my purple arm uh the, the title of the video is i fucked up my arm i'm like i'm i'm not even gonna like mince words here i fucked up my arm um it's like i thought i'd be funny because they, they were giving out these safety awards and I haven't got one since, but uh, <laughs> they don't worry about that kind of stuff. Of course, I don't go to the meeting anymore either. So, um, but uh, 
So yeah, I thought I'd be funny and pretend to trip over my foot on the way up to get my safety award. And it was a pretend trip for about two seconds, and then um, inertia, gravity, uh, propulsion, um, whatever. Like I started building up momentum, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, people were just glad that I didn't hit my head on the wall, which I didn't even think about that. But when I landed, I kind of landed with my arm out like this, you know? And I heard something like pop. Um, and I got up off the ground, and I couldn't move my arm. I came to find out. <laughs> so, and, and later it became, you know, my, like my, my whole part, this up, up here was like purple. It's like, ooh, that's nice. Um, so that didn't feel great. Um, when I when I hit my head on whatever I hit my head on when I was eight years old, uh, I was too out of it to to know that I was in pain. Um, I was in shock, I guess. Um, I didn't I, like I, I you know I just walk into the house. I got mad, you know, because I ruined my new shirt. I I had blood all the way down to my shoes. You know, and I walked in the house, I'm like, Mommy, I think I hurt myself. And of course, she started panicking, you know. And I didn't, I didn't panic. You know, I wasn't that worried about it until she, uh, she said the word hospital. And I'm like, even as an eight-year-old child, I was kind of like, the hospital's where you go when things are bad. <laughs> so, yes. And the only reason I remember it was when I was eight years old is because I got eight stitches. One stitch for each year. That's what the doctor said. So, um somewhere in the back of my head. I don't know. The, I mean, I've grown since, so um, I was going to say the less hair I have back there, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to locate where I, where, I, where it happened. Um, but I mean, like I said, I was, I was in shock when that happened, so I couldn't really feel anything. <laughs> I guess, I, you know, the adrenaline's rushing, whatever. You know, of course, you know, now I know it was, it was a bad situation because, uh, you know, they got me in the, in the emergency room, whatever. And I mean, still, I'm a kid. I don't really know what's going on, whatever, but I was cold no matter how many blankets they put on me. And I wanted to go to sleep really, really bad. And I kept getting, you know, I kept getting mad because they, they kept talking to me. And I was, you know... I would I would answer their questions because I guess I was taught to you know reply whatever, but like in, inside I was like shut up shut up I just want to go to sleep leave me alone, but of course now I know why <laughs> they were keeping me awake, uh, you know. Um, it hurts when I um, like I'm I'm doing something with a bo with a with a piece of product and it like pulls on my my fingernail. I don't I don't understand how like s some of these uh, ladies that I work with they come in with like the press on nails or whatever, and it's like how does like like if you get it jammed in something and it pulls like doesn't that like yank your nail like oh <laughs> like it's just no like I've seen too many like torture videos you know like in, in movies and stuff where it's like that's what that's what they do to torture the person is they get the little they get the little uh, the wrench or whatever, and they, like, you know, pull off their fingernail, and I'm like, uh, no, no, uh, uh, or there was one time, uh, the inside of the box had, you know, um, where, where it was folded together, or where, where, where it had been glued, there was this nice, thin little line of cardboard, and I reached down into the box to get something, and I ran my fingernail right along Oh, right along that that edge of that cardboard. Oh, like a paper cut's bad enough, but oh, fucking cardboard cut, no. And it was fine as long as I had my finger and you know, my hand up like this. But as soon as I put my put my hand down to like my side or whatever, I started dripping on the floor. And I'm like, well, I guess I should go take care of that. Oh my god. That's what, like, when they do, when they, that scene in Jackass where they're, like, giving each other paper cuts. And I was like, the, 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 like, in between their fingers? And I'm like, are, like, 
why are you doing this and why am I watching it? <laughs> They're doing it because I'm watching it. I'm the problem. <sighs> I'm not helping anything. <sighs> God damn. You know. Or like watching these videos where like, you know, people fall off stuff and like break an arm or whatever. Or like their foot's just like dangling off. I'm kind of like, ah. Uh, I kind of like cringe. I have like cringe. Like I feel it. I feel it for them, you know. Um, <laughs> it's, it's like, ugh. Um, it hurts when your food is too hot and you touch it with your finger or your mouth or whatever. Um, there's a lot of painful moments. When I dropped that, um, uh, when we put these t the the security cases together at work, it was in electronics. I was working with electronics, and there was this like thin piece of. Um, if you ever like go to a, a Walmart, Target, any of the you know, uh, look look at the cases the next time you're in there, so maybe you can see what I'm talking about. There's this thin little piece that goes on the end that kind of clips into the little into the little notches or whatever. Just kind of, you know, and then you bolt that down and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So it was this thin, it was this thin, you know, uh, piece of, of metal. Did I say cardboard? No. We're, we're past the cardboard now. We're onto the, the thin sheet of metal that's to, you know, hold, hold the cases together or whatever. And I think I was trying to, like, turn it over because I'm like, oh, I have this upside down. I need to turn it over. And when I was turning it over, I lost my hold on it and it went BAM right down on my foot. I had a, a nice thin little <laughs> a nice thin little bruise come up across my foot and I was like, oh that didn't feel great. That did not feel great at all. Oh my god. And it's like I guess it was I guess it like, you know welted up, whatever. Like, I, I thought maybe I cut it, because I could tell, like, it was like my sock was, like, sticking to my foot. So I thought I'd, like, cut my, you know, and I was bleeding, maybe. But I, I guess it just kind of, uh, it just kind of bubbled up, you know, from the, <laughs> from the, swelled. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Maybe it swelled up. That's, yeah. Because I wasn't bleeding, but, <sighs> so that hurt. Um, it hurts when I cry. I feel like that's a song. Now it's going to bug me. I want to say maybe it's a Vertical Horizon song. It only hurts when you cry. Something, something like that. Um, Something like that. Um, but there's a couple good um, times things hurt. <laughs> my back, my, my lower back has just hurt for oh, like over a year. Or it's been like, been like stiff. You know, some days are better than others, whatever. But um, actually, it's, it's not as bad as it was. But it's like, it's like ever since I started that second part-time job, like I just assume maybe I jarred something or... Maybe I did, and it's it's just hasn't healed since. I don't know, but <clears throat> maybe I need to go to the chiropractor. Maybe, maybe I should have done that a long time ago. Um, it's just kind of stiff and a little bit sore. So it's like if I try to bend up, sometimes when I try to stand up, like I I mean I you know. That's what everyone always says, when you get older, your back hurts. So I just figured it's about my time. <laughs> I turned 44 this year, so I was like, well, I guess I guess it's just, you know, it's just my turn. <laughs> but it's manageable. It's manageable. I'll tell you what, though. When I did that thing with my arm, like, I had to figure out how to put on a shirt again. Like... <laughs> To make it, because it was like, you know, it's like I had to move my arm. Because I can, you know, I can do this now. We're good, you know. But at the time, like that, to move my arm up like that, like, 
hurt. <laughs> so it's kind of like, well, how am I going to get a shirt on now? But I made, I made it, I made it work. So, and it was, I guess it was all part of the, the therapy, you know, the physical therapy, putting on a shirt every day. <laughs> Helped me get back to normalcy. But, yeah, none of those felt very great, I guess. Um, there was one time in the laundry room, um, that stupid fucking door to the goddamn dryer close it, it'll close um and i didn't know that i guess or i knew it but i wasn't thinking about it and i raised up and i hit my head on that goddamn door of the fucking dryer oh that hurt too i've gotten to where now i open the door to the to the dryer beside it and open this door all the way and then put this door in front of this door while, while i'm either putting my shit in or getting my shit out so that you know it holds the door in place for me so that I don't do that again. Oh, hello. Mom's here. Um, I sent her more uh, pictures of the geese today out by Lions Lake. They weren't in front of the... Uh, <clears throat> they weren't in, in front of the... Uh, I don't know if I showed you all those pictures. Uh, uh, the, the geese. Well, this is, the, this is them from today. They got little, little geeselings, little gooselings. Um, but yeah, those are the pictures that I sent her today. That's Lion's Lake. Uh, so these, these geese hang out by Lion's Lake. Um, but yeah, the other day we had a, um, a roadblock. <laughs> they were in the middle of the road. And you can see this one. Here's a car starting to come this way. And these geese, like, they were not scared. They were not scared. Like, they were honking at the cars. That's what this one is doing right now. It's going, because it was like, get away from my babies. Get away from my babies. And, yeah, they were, <laughs> they did not give a shit. They were just right there in the middle of the road. You know? I like, I like that one right there, because you can see he's, he's starting to walk with his little, pat, 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 pat. um, and then, I mean, they, they were, like, all the way across the Because there's some more down here. Um, yeah, there's the... I don't know why it does motion photos now. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But, yeah, there's the little the little babies. So, I sent Mom those pictures the other day. And then I sent her these today to say that they, they weren't in our way. So, and she says, I want to go see them this weekend. <clears throat> so, I guess I'll be going to see geese this weekend. So... I never thought about it before, because Mom likes to go feed geese and stuff, so it's like, take some bread and so throw out the geese some bread. So, a geese prob probably getting nipping at you, that would that would hurt, I'm sure, because they can be vicious. Vicious, vicious. Girls got a vish ass. I don't know where I picked that up from. It was, it was a TV show at one point. Maybe in Living Color, I don't know, but... <laughs> anyway, um, that was a recollection of my painful moments that I can think of. Um, so it hurts when all of that happens. Um, so, try not to do it again. I feel like I got my finger shut in the door once, the car door once. when I was a child, a children, but that also was not fun. I barely remember it, so it may or may not have actually happened. It may just be like a dream or something, but I seem to think my sister shut the door on my finger somehow. But who knows? So long ago, so long ago. Um, but anyway, that's that. Uh, I guess I need to reply to mom and go get my, 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 spaghetti noodles. So, uh, I'm gonna do that, and I'll see you for what I see you.